Alright, ladies and gentlemen, interjection here. Absolutely. And welcome to my new room. I've just moved house, and this is the new YouTube operations desk, so to speak. And you would not believe how small this room is. I love it, but it is small. Uh, the bed is almost touching the chair. <laughs> and that's because most of the space is being taken up by this enormous desk, which has not one, not two, but three monitors on it, and my microphone and my phone stand open oh, the, the Google Home Mini. Hey Google, turn the light on. Sure, turning on the light. <laughs> Brilliant. So this is a bit of an updates video, and me showing off my room. <laughs> uh, basically, I've got a whole month off work. It's going to be absolutely glorious, and when I go back, thank God the summer is over, and I will not be working 50-hour weeks anymore, which is some way to kill a man. So, basically, I'm now living in a medium-sized town quite close to Norwich City, about two and a half hours away from London by train, and I've really wanted to move here for a long time. So I'm now here. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm about five minutes away from a Tesco, which is essentially a Walmart, uh, just a really big store, and that is life-changing. Uh, more importantly, though, the internet here is good, and I won't be bothering anyone by shouting at my computer screen about a video game. One in particular, you might have heard of it, it's called Age of Empires 3. So uh, hopefully I can get back into that now that the weather is turning colder and uh, I'll just have more time, it's just, it's gonna be good. So, um, I should probably make my face not so big. Oop. Hello. So, I'm recording this video with the webcam because I wanted to talk about the future of this channel particularly with regards to Age of Empires 3, the definitive edition, and Age of Empires 4, which is on the way. So, uh, me and MC Jim, many of you will already know this, but uh, him and I work on this channel together and have been doing so for some time now, especially Jim recently. He's been um, responsible for most of the videos over the last couple of months as I've been quite busy. But uh, the idea being we were both already doing this kind of thing on various channels on YouTube anyway, and we thought it would just be better both for us and the community if we combined our efforts into one bigger joint project and shared all the revenue, etc. So I think let's begin with where did this all start then? So this channel, I made it about four years ago. It was called originally something like Interjection 2. I, I mostly used it to just dump all of my shitty VODs from my live stream. And uh, those, those VODs, they... They turned out to be a lot more popular than I expected them to be. So over time, they sort of accrued what I thought was way more views than they should have done. And people were enjoying them. And I thought, well, if people like these, there's actually a lot more, a lot better, a lot more interesting Age of Empires 3 streamed every day on Twitch. But uh, I suppose with Twitch, only a handful of sort of live viewers ever watch it. Just people with either a lot of time or who are really enthusiastic. Uh, and most people just, you know, won't have the time to go and watch through a giant ass stream or catch it live. So, you know, for me, I've always felt like the age three scene is this very underground and exclusive thing. And really with this channel, I wanted to change that just by bringing, bringing it all to YouTube in a sort of very public way. It, you know, just showcasing some of the best matches from different streams all in one place for people to find. The trouble, though, is you, you can't just copy and paste Twitch to YouTube. They're totally different platforms. On YouTube, viewers expect generally a higher production value, something that's edited and often scripted, that kind of thing. Twitch, though, being a live platform, there is no such expectation. You literally just show up, start streaming, and spew a bunch of crap onto the internet for hours at an end, and you end up with this three-hour VOD that nobody really wants to watch, but... There were, sometimes, often, uh, quite a few good games in the VOD somewhere. So they end up just disappearing eventually, and no one really watches them. But you can't just upload the raw live streams. You have to add value in some way. You've got to get those, those interesting games out. So I started this channel as a project just as I was sort of finishing uni. I started downloading these giant three-hour videos from Azamk and H2O and whoever it was streaming, you get the idea. And I started adding value, spending my time digging out good games, clipping away all the, the, the waiting around in the lobbies and such, and uploading them to YouTube with compelling titles and thumbnails and all the random shit you have to do for YouTube. 
Uh, I thought it wouldn't be too hard to have a video a day, and I did do that for a short while. I think it was one or two months, but actually it was, the whole process is just very time consuming. I couldn't keep up with it, and it exhausted me trying to. So, yeah, I mean, to, to like the, the process of making these videos, first you have to download literally gigabytes of archive, then you have to watch it, then you have to, then for each game, write down what Civs were played, which map, what players were in it, a rough description of the game, whether it was aggressive, a fast fortress, or a fast industrial, if A's was playing. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. And then I'd give a rating to each game, which really helped a lot when deciding what to upload to the channel next, because there are just so many matches played, you cannot keep track of every game. Uh, so once you've got your spreadsheet and you've decided which games you want to upload, you next have to render them out, upload that video, make a thumbnail, a description, think of a title, a dis uh, tags, and then you think of another title because the first one was no good. And it's not a trivial amount of work. It's actually a lot, which is why not many people do that kind of thing. So something I wanted to address, um, I get that it may look like we're freebooting other people's content, but me and Jim have always asked permission. And often streamers don't have any interest anyway in doing this themselves. When they've got free time, they'd rather just stream on Twitch. And Twitch is quite a fun platform. You just show up and start doing what you do, in this case playing Age of Empires. And then in a few minutes time, people start showing up. The viewer number keeps creeping up. It's, it's just a lot of fun and you get to talk to people. YouTube though, is a different kind of beast. It's it's not fun in the same way. Ultimately, what we want this project to do is serve the community. And especially in the future, as this channel grows, we want it to sort of become a jumping off point for relatively unknown content creators. Maybe they contact us and say, hey, I've made this, this video, we'd feature it for them, and then people would head their way if they liked it. It's just a platform to, for people to get their stuff out there. Uh, free editing and free exposure for, for those that want to be involved. Because, you know, having your, your video in front of a large audience definitely translates into new followers and possibly future donations from fans that really like you and your stream and what you're doing. And we want to enable that. Ideally, this will become a sort of ecosystem where we benefit streamers and they benefit us, resulting in just more views and more ad revenue for everyone involved. And, and yes, this is a 13-year-old game. There isn't much money in it because there aren't millions of viewers, but here is why I'm making this video. The crux of this is that Microsoft is back on board. We know this from the games that they are bringing back. Age of Empires has stood the test of time. That might sound cheesy, but many developers really would kill for a player base the size of Age of Empires 3's. A lot of new games never even get close to something like the size of ours, and Age of Empires 2 is even bigger, and they have regular tournaments worth tens of thousands of dollars, so, so it should be no surprise that new games are coming out, especially Age of Empires 4. I mean, I mean, just think how big that could be. Imagine every Age fan coming together behind a brand new game, and Think about the kind of resources a company like Microsoft has. This is not a small developer. This will be, I expect, a triple A title, a modern game with all the bells and whistles. And I, I, I really think and hope that's what's coming. So this is an opportunity me and Jim don't want to miss. So what this means is you can expect more videos, more interesting videos, a higher production value, good thumbnails. I'll flash some of the ones that I've made before on the screen. I want to make sure the whole channel looks good and, and stands out because I think in no small part the success we've seen, especially sort of early on, was from videos that got clicked on, ones that looked good. And So, so from the growth we've seen, we think there is potential to be a big player in the age scene on YouTube. Our vision for this project is, uh, is for this to become the de facto Age of Empires community channel where, where anyone with good content can show their video to thousands of people and maybe earn a little bit too, but, but also we'd like this to be the place to come and check out the best Age of Empires streamed from each day. We'd have multiple editors, not just me and Jim, uh, lots of people all earning the ad revenue from each video that they were responsible for. And uh, that's what we're hoping for. This is the end game vision, so to speak, where we could end up. 
And uh, to get there, we want to commit more time to this project now, so that when the right moment comes, we'll have a nice active channel. Uh, it'll be a good jumping off point to take full advantage of, say, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition when it comes out, and of course Age of Empires 4 as well. So, uh, something that's going to make this possible is Patreon. Patreon is a website where you can go to support creators you like by pledging a small amount of money to them each month, say, a dollar. And uh, what this does, it enables them to spend more time doing what they do better and more often. So, uh, a lot of bigger channels will have a Patreon, often as their primary source of income, because ad revenue really isn't that great at the moment. Uh, we want to start a Patreon nice and early, sort of now, just to get the ball rolling. And it's this is all about positioning the channel and ourselves to be able to do this. Um, even if the Patreon just nets, you know, a few dollars a month in total, uh, it's going to push us closer to that crucial point where, where we might be able to take time off work, you know, once a week or something to do this instead. And uh, in the future, what we really hope is the Patreon page will be what enables this channel to have more editors and make more content and to grow. So, um, if you like what we're doing and want to be a part of this project, even just a dollar a month is a huge contribution. Uh, let's clear some things up. Uh, we're going to be, keep, obviously we'll be doing this for free. Uh, it will never, yeah, I don't want any confusion. But uh, if that is something you think is worth even just a dollar, we will be very grateful and together Hopefully, we can make this a reality. There is a link to the Patreon page in the description. Check it out. There's perks to pledging, and you can read our statement in full. Uh, if not anything else, just have a look, because we might ask you this again closer to the time. Uh, that is when the definitive edition is, is being launched. So, all right. Let's leave it at that. Thank you very much. Links in the description.